Hello, my young entrepreneurs. It's so good to have you back to class. Welcome to my online class. In this lesson, I'll be teaching introduction to keyboarding. Now, what is keyboarding? Keyboarding is a communication tool in business studies, which requires the use of typewriter or computer keyboard to produce letters or information. And that is what keyboarding is. Now, with the help of keyboarding, especially the computer aspect of keyboard, it gives access to anyone, both young and old, to communicate effectively. All right? This will bring us to the importance of keyboarding. This is important, whether as a businessman, as an individual a student, or teacher. One, it will enable clean and easy to read document to be produced. Secondly, it is used for entering figures during computation. All right. Good mastery of the keyboard enables one to acquire marketable skills. It serves as alternative to the use of pointing devices. All right. Now, Correct sitting posture. In keyboarding, there are certain postures that are acceptable. One, you must sit in an upright position. Secondly, keep the feet flat on the floor. Let your arms be relaxed when typing. Let your fingers be curved. From the above diagram, you could see that some sitting posture is wrong. This will bring ache to the back. So learn to sit upright when typing. Parts of a computer. Computer has various parts. We are going to be looking at the parts of the computer. We have alphabetic keys, secondly, numeric keys, and the third part is known as functional keys. Functional keys. And the last but not the least part is the cursor control keys. We're going to take them one after the other. The alphabetic keys are arranged in rows from letters A to Z on the keyboard. It is used for entering tests into test editors such as Notepad, WordPad, Microsoft Word. And then the numeric keys consist of keys having figures from 0 to 9 and other keys such as plus, minus, and the rest. It is used for typing figures into the computer. And then the functional keys consist of keys labeled F1, F2 to F12. They occupy the topmost part of the computer keyboard. Generally, they are used to perform tasks or functions. All right. And then we have the cursor control key. The cursor control key does several things like giving some functions, all right, as alternative to use when pointing your device using the mouse. They are used to navigate through letters typed, okay? Then let's look at the care of the computer. How do we care for our computer? One, the computer room should be spacious and well ventilated. 
Secondly, the computer room should be dry, constantly clean and dust free. Sorry. The computer and all the input and output devices should be cleaned at regular intervals. Cover the computer with dust covers when not in use. Maintain cool temperature always by using fans or air conditioner. Use mouse pad to preserve the mouse. Use voltage stabilizer or power surge. You could also use a dry, clean rag to clean or cutting board needs dry to clean. You could also use any soft brush, neat and dry rag clothes can be used to clean the computer. Do well to use this and maintain your computer and it will last as long as you want them to. I'm going to lay more emphasis on correct sitting posture for keyboarding. Look at the images here. It is right for a good typist to sit in an upright position. All right. Another important posture is allow those feet to be flat on the floor. And when typing or keyboarding, your arms must be relaxed while your hands are placed on the computer keyboard. Let your fingers be curved so that they can slightly touch the home keys. All right? This is very important. Okay? And then let's look at the keyboard rows. They are the bottom row, the home row, the upper row, and topmost row. The bottom row consists of keys like Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, and the rest. Okay? Now, let's look at the division of the computer keyboard. It is basically divided into two parts. They are the left fingers part and the right fingers part. The left fingers aspect consists of keys like A, S, D, F. All right. And then the right is J, K, L and the rest. Now let's look at to underline or underscore to underline or underscore using the computer keyboard when typing this is what you do first of all you type your words and then secondly you highlight those words typed and then you click on the u to underline remember that keyboarding is a communication tool in business studies that will help businessmen, organizations communicate with one another. That is what keyboarding is all about. All right? This can be achieved by using the computer keyboard. This will bring us to the end of this lesson. Uh, so, Watch the video, understand, and provide answers to every question. I'll see you next class. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.